We're going to take a look at the uh, X-Rite Color Checker Passport Video Chart. Um, it can give you um, charts for different things like exposure and color correction. Um, it just comes in a uh, um, pretty much a box. Um, it's very portable. comes in a hard plastic case, um, which uh, is very durable. And it can also set at different positions so you can stand it up by itself when you're taking photographs or shooting video. Before I was using a white piece of printer paper to set white balance um, for my two video cameras. Obviously not the best way to do it because even different brands of printer paper would be slightly different white colors. That's why a white balance or gray balance card is uh, much better for setting uh, color balance because it's pretty much set to the right standard of whiteness. Um, and um, it does work in a pinch, but uh, plus it's harder to use because it's very flimsy and uh, not rigid enough. The Passport video does have four charts. Um, the one you see here, the top one is for setting uh, white balance uh, to make sure all your colors are even, red, green, and blue. The bottom is used for focus, what uh, I don't really see using as much. Okay, the next two charts for the uh, Passport video, the top one is used for setting exposure, what ha which has white, uh, grayscale, and black. And then on the bottom is a set of uh, different colored tiles, uh, including colors and black and white. The top row is mostly for setting your video colors, your second row for skin tones, and your last two for exposure and white balance as well. Okay, I kind of wanted to give you an idea um, what it looks like to set white balance um, using um, uh, white sheet of printer paper and the um, uh, proper white scale chart or grayscale chart for setting white balance. Now the video you see here is uh, doesn't use any kind of uh, white balance and I do have the video scopes up here, the RGB parade showing the three different colors, red, green, and blue. As you can see, they're not matched evenly. So um, that was because I didn't set any white balance. Now this is using a white sheet of paper which was color balanced. Um, as you can see, the, the highlights seem to be pretty well matched. The shadows aren't, and as you can see, that's not quite balanced correctly. Um, this third shot you see here was, um, the white balance was corrected using the grayscale for the um, Passport video from x Right. As you can see here, the colors are pretty well evenly matched as far as the highlights and the shadows now. Uh, the midtones needed a little bit work perhaps, um, but then again, um, when you do a proper white balance using a correct chart, it will give you the closest color representation in post, which is uh, which matters the most. Hey, you know guys, uh, we're going to take a look at um, support of the x right Color Checker Passport within uh, DaVinci Resolve, um, which is uh, put out by Blackmagic. And uh, here we uh, have a smiling picture of myself. And uh, so I'm going to show you how this works, where you can automatically color correct and color match using the um, video passport. And so we're simply going to go into uh, two things. First, we can go to the color match chart here. And here we can see x right color checker right here. And then you can set this as needed. In fact, um, we're just going to let to the uh, default settings. And we simply go um, to this right here. And we're going to go to color chart right here. Now we're going to go ahead and zoom into the picture so we can a little bit more easily match. And then you simply take the corner of each one and we're going to superimpose it onto the color chart um, just like so. We may have to zoom in uh, even more just to make sure all the squares co coincide with the, uh, the squares 
of the color chart to match it a little bit more better. Okay, just like so. Okay, this should work right here. Then you would simply uh, go down to here and click match. Now, unfortunately, um, this newer version of the color checker passport video won't work because um, this is simply a newer chart and I'll, I'll click to show you here and uh, we're going to turn this off because if you see uh, this color chart down here within DaVinci Resolve um, the squares are totally different colors it starts with brown peach blue green and here up here it's actually yellow red um, it looks like violet blue and so on so the support for um, this newer Passport video will be supported in a future version of uh, DaVinci Resolve as well as uh, in Color Grading Central's Color Finale for Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, it's going to be out this year and here I'll show you we're going to click to match and it'll be totally useless until the update comes out um, as you can see. So, But just uh, to simply show you the uh, functionality of how it works is all I'm really doing. Uh, but I am going to plan to in, uh, implement it in uh, future editing.